we got our first Watsy Hollow of this video. Our first gold secret rare card. Beautiful Articuno full art card. And this is a lovely card. Hello and welcome back to Gareth Blake Collects, another episode of the quest for every Pokemon card without spending more money. A series where we are trying to get one of every Pokemon card available in English from all the main sets and all the promos and we're trying to do it without spending more money so we can only buy cards from money that we get from selling cards within the collection. And at the end of last episode when we opened up the remaining bits of our Pokemon Go trading card boxes we ended up with nearly 5% of all the cards that we are looking for so I think maybe today we will go over that barrier. Now today we're going to go back through the boxes of some of my old collection. If you remember the very first video on, on the channel uh, we started with going through one layer of one of those boxes. We found I think probably about 50 uh, Watsy Hollows from Base Set Jungle Fossil Team Rocket. I'm not sure what we'll find. I'm guessing some more Watsy stuff but um, I do have lots more things and also as you probably saw in that first video as well there are many more boxes so um yeah we're gonna carry on with this and let's see what we get this time and let's begin so first card today we do have more watsy we have goldine from jungle uh i think last time we uh commented how much we really appreciated the artwork in jungle and yeah that looks to be in perfect order perfect condition which is good as were a lot of the cards from last video as well. Next card is Jigglypuff, also from Jungle. Really, really nice colours in this, and like the extra effort they've put in the uh, musical notes of the artwork as well. Um, again, this one looks in very good shape. Uh, next we have a Mankey card from Jungle. I'm guessing we're going to have a decent amount of Jungle cards in a row here. And another Mankey. So we have a card that we can trade. Also looking in good shape. Probably the first one was better. And we have Meowth from Jungle as well. We were wondering last video if we were going to be able to complete Jungle. So hopefully this means that we will have all of Jungle somewhere in these boxes. And considering it's only a uh, 64 card set as you can see there. This is the Nidoran female also in good enough shape and here's the Jolteon non-hollow rare as you can see there also looking in nice condition. You can definitely see some different types of cards uh, that just kind of creeped into my view at the, the back of this stack um, but for now let's continue with jungle. So Pinsir another rare non-hollow and also looking good and a primate card from jungle can like the artwork on this primate you see here they've done a really nice uh, job on the backgrounds of these cards same with the jolteon as well kind of just helps to uh, the frame the pokemon really well gives them the uh, illusion that they're in movement and battling and, and fighting with each other and again very good condition. Uh, we got our first Watsy Hollow of this video, which is the Kangaskhan Rare Hollow from Jungle. Here you can see there's a little bit of whiting at the top, so it's certainly not perfect, but still overall, as you can see, in pretty good condition. Next card we have Rapidash from Jungle. Nice kind of simplistic artwork on that one and also looking in good shape. And next card, we have Rhydon from Jungle. Now that's a really nice card. We are just talking about how the artwork on the back um, makes the Pokemon look very active in Jungle and this one looks really, really good. And um, really love the, the contrast of the colors of Rhydon and the colors they've used in the background. Just an uncommon card, but uh, I really, really like how that one looks. Also in very good shape. I guess we should actually start putting some cards uh, in the background here. I'll put this right on there as well, just uh, for now, just because uh, it looks good. Okay, and then we have a Seeking card from Jungle, which also looks really nice. Again, uh, love this set. And 
a tiny bit of whiting in the corner on the left hand side, otherwise, yeah, in, in good shape. And Tauros from Jungle, another nice looking card, and also in nice shape. And another Tauros. I would say this one's probably better than the previous one, but yeah, have another to trade. And here's Bell Sprout from Jungle. I will be putting all of these cards into TCG Collector into our collection at the end of the video, so we'll see how much of Jungle we've got, what we need, um, but also what we have managed to complete overall of every Pokemon card on the website in English. And here's the Eevee card from Jungle, which is very, very nice. Quite a memorable card, I'd say, from the early era of Pokemon. This one is also in nice shape too. And here is the non-holo Snorlax card from Jungle. As we mentioned in the first video, Jungle has holo and non-holo versions of its rare cards. Uh, but as normal, looks in perfect condition. And we have our first non-jungle card of this video, which is the Challenge Trainer card from Team Rocket, and features a slew of uh, Pokemon from Generation 1, and yes, looks in great condition too. Uh, some more Team Rocket trainers, the boss's way, and this is another very memorable card from the Watsi era, and also looks perfect in terms of its condition. And here is another Watsi Holo, uh, the Jungle Holo Rare of Nidoqueen, and looks in very good shape, so that can go on the background. Uh, we have another Team Rocket trainer card, Digger Rocket's Secret Machine, in very good shape. And another Rocket trainer, Nightly Garbage Run, another quite memorable bit of artwork I think from this set and the sleep trainer card from Team Rocket. So everything has been continuing with the Watsi era, the Wizards of the Coast era of uh, Pokemon cards and here is the potion energy from the Team Rocket set. Also looks in very good shape and dark vile plume from Team Rocket so we're definitely on a, a Team Rocket run after a a long run of jungle. And this one looks in pretty good shape. There's a tiny bit of whiting in the top corner, but apart from that, looks in good shape. We have the Dark Jolteon from Team Rocket next, the non hollow version, and also in good shape. You can see it's slightly miscut, uh, so the right side border is thicker than the left side border, um, but apart from that, looks nice. And Abra from Team Rocket, uh, very nice artwork on this one, on a rooftop, just chilling, sleeping. Yeah, I like that one a lot, and yeah, in nice order. And uh, we have the Vault Orb card from Team Rocket. Again, we might be able to uh, complete most, if not all, of Team Rocket from uh, these boxes of my collection, I hope so. And Dark Magneton is the next card from Team Rocket. Uh, we got the hollow version of this in the first video, and that's the back, looking good. And Dark Hypno, uh, I'd say def definitely one of the more memorable artworks from the Team Rocket set. Uh, really, really like this one. Just it's it's slightly different, and I think that's what we got from from Team Rocket actually was kind of quite different types of artwork to what we'd seen in the the previous three. Uh, sets at that time. Looks in decent shape. Slight whiting on the top corner there, you might be able to see, but apart from that, it's very nice. And we have Ekans from Fossil, so moved on to another Watsi set, uh, Fossil. So we'll see how much of Fossil we can complete as well after today's video. Another Fossil horsey, and I'd say this is the first card that we can definitely see some decent imperfections on, so top corner you can see there's a, a, a mark here and a mark there. A tentacle from Fossil, this one looks pretty perfect. And Executor from Jungle, again another really really nice artwork, fantastic colours and 
thankfully this one looks in very good shape as well. So I'm going to place that there actually. And Firo from Jungle, another one with good striking background, giving the Pokemon the appearance of action and in fantastic shape. Uh, we have Marowak from Jungle as well, throwing bone and also looks in nice shape. We have Nidorina from Jungle, looking very nice. Parasect from Jungle, uh, nice kind of highlighting on this card, making the Pokemon stand out. And that is looking good too. And next card we have Erika from one of the gym sets. And if you remember in the first video, we got lots of Erika first edition cards. So we'll see if we get any more first edition in this box. Um, this one has some whiting on the bottom, as you can see, but otherwise looks good. And in fact, there is a first edition card. <laughs> so this is a uh, grass energy card from the same set. Looks in nice shape. And we're moving into a completely different direction <laughs> to 2021. Uh, this is Celebi VMAX. And this card is from Chilling Rain. And yeah, really nice card. Unless there were any imperfections from the pack, it should be in perfect shape. And we have uh, Galarian Zapdos V, uh, which is really nice, these Galarian forms. And yeah, this is a uh, another nice card. <laughs> and with these boxes, just don't know what we're going to pull out. Moving in another direction, um, this is a Reverse Hollow Caterpie from the Sun and Moon base set from 2017. Um, yeah, love this artwork. It looks really nice. Uh, especially as a reverse hollow as well. Um, I think from memory I bought quite a few boxes of this set. Um, and another reverse hollow from Sun and Moon. Maybe this is the pattern of what we're going to expect from uh, cards going forward. These should all be in pretty much perfect shape. Uh, Pinsir reverse hollow from Sun and Moon. And a Surskit Reverse Hollow from Sun and Moon. And a Grubbin Reverse Hollow from Sun and Moon. And looks nice on the back. And then we have a Rainbow Rare of Solgaleo from the Sun and Moon set. Um, yeah, really, really lovely card. And looks pretty good on the back. Slightly off center. I'm kind of reviewing this card in a little bit more detail because it is a hyper rare secret rare card. Um, so yeah, it wouldn't if I sent this into grading, it wouldn't get a ten just simply because it's it's off center. The border on this side is slightly thinner than on the right hand side. And next card we've got a gold secret rare energy, also from Sun and Moon. Um, yeah, pretty hard card to pull. And I think probably our first gold uh, secret rare card on the channel that we're showing. Um, again, off center, left to right, uh, but otherwise in good shape. That's what you get with uh, new English a lot of the time. And then we have this beautiful Articuno full art card. Uh, that looks pretty amazing. Uh, definitely a lovely card to display. Um, and this one is not off center left to right but off center uh, up and down so the top is definitely thinner than the bottom uh, but otherwise looks very good i guess we should display some of our recent polls uh, so we're changing up what we're seeing on the background um oh and this is a lovely card uh, the lily full art trainer card I know in Japanese these full art trainer cards are pretty collectible, especially uh, this Lily card. Um, and that's a really nice one to have. Again, slightly off center, but uh, otherwise in very good shape. I will put that in the middle. 
and then we have the Solgaleo GX uh, non-rainbow, so we have the rainbow here um, that we can compare it to. Um, but this is the non-rainbow version, um, but still looks very nice. Uh, I like how they got the lines through the hollow like that. And as we're discovering with Sun and Moon in English, slightly off centre. Oh, and we have an Umbreon GX here. Really, really nice card. Umbreon is a pretty collectible Pokemon, uh, as are all the EV cards and evolutions. Um, and yeah, this is a, a very nice one. And speaking of evolutions, uh, we have the Espeon GX as well. Another very nice card. And again, slightly off centre. We'll put that there. And next up we have a another full art trainer card, Professor Kukui, which is, yeah, a pretty good card. I, I definitely prefer the, the Lily trainer card, but it's still a pretty nice looking card. Oh, interesting. So uh, this is from a 2016 set called Generations. This was kind of to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. And I definitely got quite a bit of Generations products at the time. Um, so I'm sure we'll find some generations in here, um, but yeah, this is the Magikarp card. It was quite a small set, if I remember. Only uh, 83 cards numbered. And then it looks like we're moving back onto Sun and Moon here, uh, with the Howl card, the Reverse Hollow Trainer. And yeah, it looks in nice shape. And some more Sun and Moon Reverse Hollows. If this continues, I'm going to forego saying Sun and Moon Reverse Hollow. I will take it that you know that it is a Sun and Moon Reverse Hollow if I don't say anything else. Uh, and we have the Chin Chow. Uh, and that one does look actually centered very well. Well done, you've got one card right, English. Uh, and here is the Energy Retrieval card. Also centered very well. Uh, here's the Charge Bug in nice shape. Uh, here is the Lily Trainer and Poplio. You can see I probably bought quite a lot of uh, Sun and Moon. This is Steeny. Um, if we have a lot of Reverse Hollows, that means we bought quite a lot. Q to fly. And Polywag, this is one of those that features kind of the uh, stitched artwork. There's a nice reverse hollow pattern on these cards though. Um, I like how they uh, graphically designed these. And uh, Snubble, and the Nest Ball, and Repel. And now we move back to Generations from 2016. Uh, this is the Tangler card. I always like Tangler. I think it's a very well designed Pokemon. Um, I think it's quite hard to get a uh, Tangler artwork and card wrong because uh, it's, I think, quite an interesting design. And here is the Tangler Reverse Hollow. Get a nice Reverse Hollow pattern um, and design on on Generations. Um, and yeah, these are looking in good shape as well. And carrying on with Generations with the Ponyta card and Rapidash. And Generations was an exciting set. Uh, it's pretty collectible and expensive at the moment. And there were some pretty nice cards in it too. And here is the same card, but the reverse hollow version. And that is also looking in good shape. And here's more Generations. This is the Magma card. And I have to say, very nice artwork too. And in nice condition. And we have the Blastoise EX card from Generations. Um, yeah, very nice uh, water effects that they've put on this card. Um, looks very action packed. Um, and I think they did a good job with these cards. Wasn't a fan of all of the EX cards from this kind of era of Pokemon. I thought some of the artworks were a little bit busy, but uh, this is a nice one and uh, in good condition as well. And we have Shelda from Generations. Um, yeah, I like the uh, simplicity of this card. It looks very nice. And Krabby from Generations as well, in good shape. And 
Cloister from Generation. Another very nice artwork just for a an uncommon card. Uh, but yeah, I do like that card a lot. And obviously in nice shape, as usual. Then we have Caterpie from Generations. Nice simplistic card. And the next card is the same. It's the reverse hollow version and a double of that one as well. And we have Metapod, reverse hollow. Um, yeah, I think this artwork's very nice. It's a lot of effort's been put into the detailing in the background, um, the shading of the sun coming down on Metapod. You can imagine a metapod in this situation <laughs> so they've done a good job um and again nice particularly nice as the reverse hollow version of it just i think it makes the metapod stand out because it's got similar shading around it to the reverse hollow kind of patterns and colors so it works very well in conjunction with that and next card we have is paras from generations as well And the next card is its evolution, Parasect from Generations. And the next card, quite different type of artwork to the previous one, uh, Haunter, um, also from Generations. Um, but yeah, looking in good shape. Uh, this next card though, I definitely remember this, uh, Gengar card from Generations. And this is particularly nice. Really nice hollow pattern, really nice shading, uh, just very well drawn and executed as a card, I think. Um, and yeah, in good shape too. So we haven't changed up the background for a little while, so I'll put our Gengar card there. Uh, we have a nice Diglett card. Um, Diglett, I think, can be slightly boring Pokemon in terms of its artwork, just it's quite simplistic in style, there's not a lot going on with it, so uh, the fact that they've put in these kind of different types of flowers and colours in the background, I think, is a good idea. Um, also from Generations, as we have been getting for the last uh, quite a few parts, and Doug Trio from Generations as well. Um, kind of reminiscent, I guess, of what we are talking about with Jungle in terms of its background and making the Pokemon seem like it is in action. And here we have the reverse hollow version of Dugtrio. And we continue with generations with a chop. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like this card. I do have a fondness for Machop, Machoke, Machamp in general. And speaking of Machamp, here is the Reverse Hollow Machamp from Generations, which is a rare Reverse Hollow. Yeah, pretty nice card. Um, and in good condition. Then we have uh, the Ghastly Reverse Hollow from Generations. And uh, yeah, its colours work very nicely in conjunction with the card. And now we go back to Sun and Moon with an Incineroar GX uh, card. Which is slightly off centre, top to bottom again. Um, but yeah, decent card. Don't really have a lot to say about that one. Uh, but this one is much nicer, I'd say. This Lapras GX card uh, in the middle of the ocean. Uh, obviously pretty heated and um, probably in the heat of battle. Um, but yeah, its its colours work really nicely. It's got this kind of reddish maroon on the uh, the sky. And like how the, the red contrasts with the, the white and the blue of the Lapras and the ocean. Again, nice water effects. It's it's a good looking card um, for what it is, and yeah, it looks in very good condition as well. And then next up we have Primarina GX. Um, similar kind of situation. Uh, nice colours, nice background, um, nice water effects. 
I would say the Lapras is probably a better looking card overall um, and a better Pokemon but yeah both nice cards um, and in good shape and now we have the Umbreon GX and looking nice and in good shape and we have the Solgaleo GX card as well in good shape and I do like this uh, Taurus GX that we have here next um, yeah it stands out pretty well against the the background and the other artwork and has that classic movement that we can see in some of the other sets but yeah nice card overall and we have another Incineroar GX card so this one is available for trade uh, we have a Lorantis GX uh, which yeah it's a very nice looking card uh, nice colors on the Lorantis and yeah this one is in good condition as well uh, and we also have a Lorantis to trade and then we have a Decidueye GX um, can't really see it too well uh, this is one of those that's maybe a little bit busy um, but it's a decent looking card overall it's just the Pokemon doesn't really stand out so well I'd say um, then we have a Gumshoes GX I'd say a pretty boring Pokemon if I'm being honest uh, but decent card decent looking card anyway um, and because I said that of course we have another one of it <laughs> so that's made to trade uh, we then have an Ultra Ball card from Sun and Moon and our last two cards are also Ultra Balls so I'm going to add all of these cards into TCG Collect now off screen and then we'll come back and we'll see what that's done to our overall completion percentage so I have put everything into TCG Collector that we have looked at today so uh, the main things we increased jungle uh, up to 56% so we now have 36 of the 64 cards uh, we also added a few fossil we added a few uh, team rocket as well uh, some gym heroes and then we added a bunch of generations and we got up to 20% of generations I'm pretty sure I've got mostly all of that set if not all of it um, I did open up quite a bit at the time and uh, Sun and Moon base set as well we've got 31% uh, of that now completed and then we also lastly added a little bit of Chilling Rain which is a set that we will find somewhere in all of these boxes uh, at some point soon I'm sure so what has that done to our collection so we now have 856 unique cards altogether on the database there are 16,058 um, and we have 932 unique variants total cards we have 1,765 and you might notice that this has not really increased since the last video uh, I did have all of my standard energy doubles in the collection on TCG collector uh, I took all of those doubles out just because it will get ridiculous um, and I didn't want them to factor into the uh, total cards number in the collection our value is uh, currently $2,226 and so what have we done to our overall completion percentage so we have 856 unique cards out of 16,058 so we will use percentage calculator as we always do to work out what our total completion percentage is currently and it is 5.33% so as I suspected we have hit that 5% barrier uh, if we just get 20 times as much as we've got now we will hit 100% it doesn't actually seem like that daunting of a task when you put it that way because we haven't really gone through that much stuff yet I've got still so much stuff left unopened and then we have 
a big journey to go on together in terms of purchasing everything else and trying to do it without spending more money. And next video, I want to start getting into Hidden Fates. I bought a lot of it when it came out. I haven't opened any of it at all. And as you can see here, it's a very exciting set. There is a subset within it called the Shiny Vault, which features uh, 94 shiny Pokemon, including some very sought after cards. There's this shiny Charizard, which currently goes for about $400, just in ungraded form. Uh, they've got also shiny versions of every Evolution of Eevee, which as you know is very collectible. It's a full art Cynthia, there's a shiny full art Mewtwo. And if you want to see how lucky we get with these shiny cards in Hidden Fates, I will upload my first Hidden Fates video in a, just a few days time. So come back to the channel and join me for the next video where we will tick off some more stuff and I'll see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>